In quantum mechanics, we deal with wave functions and operators. We use wave functions to show states and operators to represent observables. Mathematically speaking, wave functions can be represented by abstract vectors, on which some linear transformations operate, which are our operators. This language, this mathematical framework is called linear algebra, for which I have thoroughly made some videos before. In linear algebra, we use column matrices to show vectors, actually n-dimensional vectors, and also n by n matrices to show operators, which are linear transformations. We can also define an inner product of two vectors, which gives a complex number. On the other hand, we know that the states we usually come across in quantum mechanics must be normalizable, and for each situation we usually need infinite number of states. This space, which contains all the square integrable functions, is called the Hilbert space, which is a vector space itself. And all the possible wave functions live in this space. The inner product of two wave functions like psi and phi can be calculated like this. And if these two functions are both square integrable, then we can make sure that the inner product exists and converges to a finite number. A function is normalized if its inner product with itself is 1. So to normalize a function, we can divide it by the square root of its inner product with itself. If the inner product of two functions is 0, they are called orthogonal. Now let's combine these two concepts. A set of functions are orthonormal if they are normalized and orthogonal. If we can express any other function as a linear combination of these orthonormal functions, the set is called complete. Now let's move on to observables, which are represented by Hermitian operators. We can find the expectation value of an observable by this equation. Suppose that we have an ensemble of identically prepared systems, and we measure an observable called O on them. The act of measurement yields different results because of the nature of measurement in quantum mechanics. But can we find some states for which measuring always gives the same result? The answer is yes, and these states are called determinate states. If we measure the observable on these states, they always yield the same result. To find these determinate states, we need to solve an eigenvalue equation for the observable O. Size are eigenfunctions, and O's are eigenvalues, meaning that measuring O on size always yields O. Pay attention that eigenvalues are some numbers, and the collection of all eigenvalues of an operator is called its spectrum. Sometimes there are two or more functions with the same eigenvalue. These spectrums are called degenerate. As an example, if you want to find the eigenvalues and eigenfunctions of the Hamiltonian, we need to solve this equation, which is the time-independent Schrodinger equation, and eigenvalues are possible energies for the system. Eigenfunctions of Hermitian operators, or physically speaking, determinate states of an observable, can be discrete or continuous. If the spectrum is discrete, all the eigenfunctions lie in the Hilbert space, like the eigenfunctions of the Hamiltonian for the harmonic oscillator. On the other hand, if the spectrum is continuous, the eigenfunctions are not normalizable and cannot represent a wave function. But linear combinations of them may be normalizable, like the Hamiltonian of the free particle. So let's recap. Hilbert space is a kind of vector space, which consists of all the square integrable functions. In this space, we deal with vectors, operators, and complex numbers. Operators can act on these vectors, and the inner product of two vectors give a complex number. Thanks for watching this video.